we think we may have found one of the best adults-only dog-friendly campsites in the south. Spend some time with us and see if you agree. We're staying at Back of Beyond. Just outside Ringwood on the A31 in Dorset. It's an adults only tranquil park. With some pretty awesome facilities. In this video, we're going to show you around and give you a tour of the bar and the shop, the 18 acres of woodland, the pitches, and the all important facilities. Just giving Dozer a nice walk in the woods. Um, it's nice and cool in here this morning and it's going to be a hot day so we thought we'd get out here early. There are 18 acres of woodland here to explore, completely dog friendly so Dozer can run free off the lead and honestly these woods are beautiful. We are just steps out of the caravan park itself and you wouldn't know it was there so no. it is so peaceful. And that really is like kind of goes to the heart of it being a tranquil park. This is um, part of the uh, sort of tranquil park um, group uh, of parks um, and it's also been voted just had a look it's actually been voted in the top 100 sites uh, for three years running um, so yeah I mean it's a really lovely place to come and enjoy a peaceful long weekend like we are rhododendron bushes in here. I bet these are really beautiful in the springtime when they flower. These woodlands are perfect for a short stroll, you know, your first dog walk of the morning or your last dog walk of the evening. For Dozer it's perfect because he's 13 now and he can't walk for very long. I guess if you had a more energetic dog then Moores Valley Country Park, which is only a five minute drive away, would probably be a great place to go for a longer walk. was just eyeing up this dream for a bit of a splish splash and we told him he definitely couldn't go in because if he did he'd have to have a shower. And he wouldn't want that. However, there is a dog shower on site, a warm dog shower. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah, not to Dozer. Not to Dozer, no. <laughs> site has loads of different types of pitches which is fantastic over here there are some more astroturf pitches like the one we're on behind that is a camping field for tents um, just by the entrance and actually all along here i don't know how many there are but these pitches are enormous they'd be ideal for those you know big american rvs um, they are so long you've got so much space they're right opposite the reception and the bar um, so, uh, yeah, and of course right by the entrance, so you're not driving a great big unit all the way around the site. So these are fantastic. Now you can see what I mean about the size of these pitches. You can see there's a, a caravan in that one there. There's enough room for two caravans. They're absolutely enormous and they've got a nice little picnic table by them as well. Very, very nice. Loads of space. If there's a group of you or if you've got a really big unit, you are not going to be pushed for room there. And these are some of the regular half standing gravel standing pitches decent amount of size there are a few rows of these sort of standard size hard standing pitches nice sort of um, dividing hedges and trees between the pitches as well give you a sense of privacy 
and also when the weather is like this because it is scorchio it's a nice shade too and here you can get a good view of one of the astroturf pitches like we're on without anything on it so you park your unit on the left hand side you've got the astroturf to uh, set up on your little picnic table your awning whatever and here's ours here it is oh so i find sarah there reading which is not there those who are still enjoying his cool jacket and a nice little snooze in the shade it's mid-morning it is a glorious day it is time for an iced coffee now there are some ice cubes in here as well for our coffees not to be confused with the dog ice cubes that i made yesterday which have dog friendly peanut butter dog friendly liver paste and yogurt in because that would not be very nice in our iced coffee Thank you very much. We've really got a thing for iced coffee lately um, and we've still quite not managed to make it successfully so we're still buying shop-bought stuff. I'll overlay a picture of um, this stuff in a minute. It's the best and most reasonably priced stuff we've managed to find. Dozer is here chilling in his cool coat which we bought on Amazon. It is amazing. You soak it in cold water for a couple of minutes and then you put it on your doggo and it keeps them so nice and cool for about four hours until the material goes hard again because one iced coffee is never enough oh my there you go some more shade because um, at just this time of day the sun just peeks in down onto our little pitch. <laughs> it's not the prettiest thing and it will not stand up to anything more than a light breeze I wouldn't have thought but it has made it a little bit shadier in there so that is no bad thing. Of course, keeping Dozer nice and cool is our number one priority and his cool coat is doing a really good job of keeping him nice and cool and a good temperature. Quick demo of Dozer's cool coat. I've soaked it in cold water for a couple of minutes and you just pop it on. Instant cool. I, I wish they made these for humans. There you go. gourmet lunch of cheese and biscuits and a nice glass of cold white wine. If anything's guaranteed to make me want an afternoon snooze, <laughs> this is it. So right before we tuck into a yummy lunch and Dozer tucks into a frozen licky mat that I made him earlier to keep him nice and cool. Um, Back of Beyond do offer delivery of things like charcuterie boards, I believe they have vegetarian options, afternoon tea, scones, jam, finger sandwiches, that kind of thing, and a bakery order for breakfast, so things like croissants, almond croissants, um, and all sorts of things like that, cakes and bits and pieces. Um, you have to order them the night before, and we weren't quite organised enough to order anything for today. But really good to have that as an option if you're here and you cannot be bothered to cook. The whole site at Back of Beyond is so well cared for and kept really neat and tidy. There is a very well stocked shop selling lots of locally produced goodies and treats as well as all of the essentials. An outdoor seating area where you can watch the carp. The toilet and shower blocks are very smart and really well looked after. And you've got some other shower and toilet blocks here which look like they are sort of um, later editions and they look proper smart. Every campsite should have the obligatory information hut. This one is no different. 
and there's even a little table and chairs outside. They have a massive DVD and book rental. Lots of walking route maps. Leaflets for all the local attractions. Magazines. And even some games. have left Mac and Dozer happily snoozing in the shade while I come for a walk around these two small lakes tucked behind one of the glamping pods. This is an area of special scientific interest so no dogs allowed but I've already seen a ton of damselflies, butterflies and a couple of ducks. <laughs> Now you've got all the energies. I'm awake and starved. Look at that tail wag. Look at it go. Well, we've had a lovely few hours relaxing. We're about to head down to the bar, grab a couple of drinks. Um, not, tie, not sure what time the live music starts, but there is a jazz band on tonight. So we might get to catch that. Um, but in any case, we're going to head into the woods afterwards for a nice walk for those afternoon stroll. just been <laughs> we've just been to the bar we've had a drink possibly a little bit tipsy but we've just found a balls pitch no idea how to play it but we're going to give it a go i think the idea is throw this out first and then you take turns trying to get close to it and maybe knock the opponent's ball out of the way it's a good thing that our retriever isn't that great at retrieving <laughs> he's going to be in the way isn't he <laughs> yeah We've finished our game of bowls and we are about to head into the woods to give Dozer a little evening walk, but thought we would mention that there is also a little pitch and putt here. And also these little picnic tables in a barbecue area. Now we won't be playing uh, pitch and putt today, but there is a nice little pitch and putt course. Here's one of the holes now. You uh, rent the golf clubs from reception. I think it might be about £2.50, so a small nominal fee. Making good use of the teppanyaki grill. 
I really like this little thing actually. It does a great job. Sarah loves mayonnaise, so I bought a box of something like, what was it? 100, 198 <laughs> sachets, because I once forgot it. The next day. Well, there we are, back of beyond adults only touring park near Ringwood. Did we find that it is in fact the best? The facilities here are amazing. There is something for everyone. It's so great to have a bar on site. The dog walk with the forest is amazing. Brilliant. It wasn't noisy. There's just lots of people here having a really nice time. I think there's a out. bit of a trade-off with having a bar on site. It has been great. We have really <laughs> enjoyed it. We would recommend it. And we, we deliberately came without any other plans. So the car has sat there since we pulled up and parked it there. Um, forced relaxation and it has been very relaxing. It has. It, it is has. a lovely site. We can recommend it. Um, obviously if you've got kiddos um, you're going to need to leave them behind because this is adults only. Um, <laughs> Bring your dogs though. But it is extremely dog friendly. That 18 acre woodland is amazing. Spot on. Absolutely brilliant. But for now that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have Give us a thumbs up, maybe even consider subscribing, got lots more content planned. Leave us a comment, let us know uh, what you thought of what we showed of this site and if you have any recommendations of sites that you think are better than this, let us know and we'll check them out. Definitely. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for watching, see you, see you in the time. next one. Bye. Bye.